Good morning, YouTube. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, I'm back. Just want to show y'all something here. Right there. Bam. First time I ever run coast to coast. I was running from uh, New Jersey to California in a truck like that right there. But, uh, yeah. It was very sweet. Had the wife, at the time the wife and two kids in there with me. And I had them sleeping on the bottom bunk. And I was sleeping on the top bunk. <coughs> and uh, that was back when they had them screaming meanies, which they still got them. But when they first come out, I have one. And uh, that alarm went off and I went to sit up in that top bunk and I banged my head on the roof. <laughs> I went right back down. Yeah, it knocked me right back out. Yes, sir. That's screaming me. No. Yeah. Need to say I don't have one of those no more. I don't need nothing to yell at me like them things do. Yes, sir. Look at here, boys and girls. Oh, he even got one of the big toss. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. There's another one here. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go, boys and girls. It's time to get the flock up out of here. Are you going there, Spartan? Yeah, take this truck out, yes, sir. Uh huh. God. And some sweet trucks, but I could not live in them. I wish I could. If I was to have something like that, it'd be just for show. I couldn't live in it. And now, yeah, there's another one. Here's the other one. Jeez. Oh, yeah, here's your red beat. Oh, with a turbo wing on it. Yeah, buddy. Now, let's get the flock out of here and go deliver this load. It says I'll be in Dallas at 6 30. So hopefully I'll be a little bit ahead of all the traffic. I doubt it with my luck. I doubt it, but we gonna see. There goes that GPS already barking orders at me this morning. Good Lord. Yeah, you know, I think I keep. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need it. But I think I keep that thing because it reminds me of being at home. Take the exit. On Got a woman barking orders at me. West. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's get on this big road. Trucking up, boo boo. Yeah, there's another Peterbilt this morning. That man's all over the place out here too. Well, they all over everywhere, but yeah, they more of them seem like out here. Well, I'm smelling smoke in the air tonight. Heard this morning. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't think it's cold enough to be a fireplace, you know, 58 degrees. Something's on fire somewhere. Well, I can smell it. Yeah, we're about a mile or so away from our, you know, our, our bypass, our cut road, you know, to cut across over to 30. Right now we on 20. I got to get on 30 to get to 35. So yeah, we're about a mile away. No, maybe two miles. Yeah, I was just thinking this truck 
with this heavier load, I mean, this is one of the heavier loads I've hauled right at 44,000. Yeah. It seems to do better on the hills with this 44,000 than what it does with 34,000. I just don't get it. But, you know, it is what it is. get on the highway right here beside me and now they just gonna ride right there beside me they ain't wanting to let me back over I got to get back over right up there where you can you can almost see it up there the Bucky sign yeah speaking of Bucky's they don't allow truck drivers in their lot if you are a truck driver you're not allowed to go in their store and purchase nothing. Come on, seriously? If it wasn't for truck drivers, you wouldn't have nothing in your store, Bucky's. Don't make no damn sense. I understand they some, but still, I mean, that, not all of us is, is that way, throw it trash bags out in the parking lot and shit bags and whatever else that drivers throw out in the parking lot. Not all of us do that. So you, you're banning everybody for the, the few that does what they do. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, and these buckies are, they, they big stores. They plenty of room to get trucks in there. There's, but they don't want truck drivers in their place. I seen a video a couple months ago where a truck driver, I, I read the story where he went in there and he, he had, had like $50, $60 worth of stuff in his hand. And uh, the manager come out and said he wasn't allowed to purchase none of that stuff because he was driving a truck. But he was bobtails. He didn't even come up in there with a trailer. He was bobtail. But he wasn't allowed to purchase nothing because he was a truck driver. Are you serious? And you know, I've never been in Bucky's. Not one time have I ever been in Bucky's and I wanted to go to see what the hype is about this store. But you bet your ass I will never go into Bucky's now that they got that rule. They won't get a penny of my money. I ain't got but a couple pennies, but that's all right. They won't get none of them. I think all drivers ought to ban that place, even the ones that deliver there. They seem like, no, you don't allow my fellow drivers here, so I'm not delivering there. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe that's a little bit much, but still, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, buddy, yeah. Red Pete with, with the chrome fenders, yes, sir. Well, so much for being a little early this morning and missing traffic. Seems like I'm in more traffic coming this early. It is 5.50 in the morning out here. And you see this mess? Are you serious? Oh, God, I thought I would. Oh. And I believe most of this is a... Uh, I don't think I passed 635 yet, so I think this is what's got everything held up. 635, but I'm not sure. I just know that this is a mess this morning already. Yeah, see, I, I don't know what that was where I was backed up, but we are back moving. Here's 635. Here, it was just a fluke 
stop and go back there for about a half a mile. That's all it was. Everybody stopped, and then we took off, and now we're going again. But I'm seeing a lot of lights up ahead. I think I'm thinking they're running into traffic again. Yeah, they hitting the brakes. Oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be one of these mornings. Yep, we stopping again. Here we go. And yes, when I'm in traffic like this and there's a bunch of people all around me, I turn, when I run up into traffic being stopped, I turn my hazards on so everybody behind me knows that we are stopping. I've done had a car back when I was working local. I uh, was stopped at a red light, but the red light went green and I started grabbing gears and, and going, well, I guess the lady, they run in underneath my trailer. <coughs> she didn't realize that we had just took off from a red light. I don't know if she's playing with her phone or what, but I didn't even get all the way under the light. I mean, I literally just started grabbing. I might have been in third gear. And I felt, I, I, I felt it. I couldn't see it, but I felt it. And I looked in my mirror. I was like, I think I was running with somebody else. I was like, I think somebody just run underneath me or just hit me. So I pulled off on the shoulder. There's this little car. She had run into the back of the trailer and uh, the DOT bumper was sitting in the windshield. That's how far she pushed underneath the trailer. And I called 911 and it was like, well, is the, the driver okay? I said, I don't know. I said, I can't see inside the car. It's all filled with smoke. I can't open the door. I don't know. And I was like, I don't want to know. This ain't good. I don't want to see that. I said, just get somebody here. And luckily, I, it happened right in front of the fire station. Right there in, in uh, I was going to Fernandina. And I was just before the bridge that you cross over to go into Fernandina Beach. And the fire station's there on the right. And that's where it happened, right there. And still, with me being in the fire station driveway, it took them close to five minutes to get out to me. So the moral of that, that story is, you know, when I'm running into traffic, when I'm running into traffic like this, if I'm coming to a stop, I throw the hazards on. If I'm sitting at a red light and there's nobody else behind me, and the light goes green, I throw the hazards on until I get up to at least 20, 25 miles an hour, and then I'll turn them back off. Well, I don't want that to happen again. Like we fixing to come to a stop again. Keep going, people. Quit, quit hitting the brakes. Uh, yep. I thought I was thinking to have to do some evasive driving there for a minute. These people, I just don't get it. Let's just come to it. Look. Look, I mean, look. They come to a dead stop and it took off. Seriously, what was the purpose of that? Now I got people coming by me blowing the horn like I've done something wrong. Really? Like I, do, I, I wanted to do that? Uh, no, don't think so. Yep. 6 a.m. Dallas traffic. Uh, so, 
I don't know which way to go this morning. I think I might. Jeez, I don't know. It's hit or miss which way to go this time of morning. Either way I go, I think I'm gonna be in traffic, so I'll just make that decision when I get up here. And yeah, I'm still four miles from 45. So yeah, when I get up here to 45, I guess I'll make that decision when I get there. Yeah, I know there's a minute or so there that has no volume. I was on the phone. I was still trying to get some of the the skyline and stuff on here. That's why. But, yeah, when I'm on the phone for some reason, if I talk, it don't come through on the video. But anyways, yeah, I'm still fighting traffic. And, uh, yeah this blows and I got in it right yeah right at <laughs> yeah it's been 35 minutes so far and I've been uh, about five miles in the last 35 minutes but I guess it could be worse oh look at there there's my explorer right there that that sport track there on the right. I got the same one, same color and everything, just mine's missing the tailgate. That's one my uh, my 16 year old, he wants that. So yeah, I wanna give it to him and uh, I need to give me something else to drive. But anywho, all right, well, let me get through this traffic. I'll get back with y'all shortly. Yeah, the bad part about all this, you know, once I get over here and drop a hook, I got to turn around and come right back through this crap to get to Waco. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good looking Pete over there. Check it out. Here, well, oh, you ain't gonna be able to see it. But yeah, that's a good looking Pete. Anywho, let's get over here and drop Three this load. Of Take the exit. All right, here we are coming up on our exit. I had to fight to get over. Nobody wanted to let the big truck in the lane. God Take forbid you get behind the truck. To Texas 161 North, then keep left. But anyhow, here we are. <coughs> I'm going here and dropping hook. Keep left toward and Valley to Valley. Waco. You know, I ain't, I ain't got no easy load in a month, man. I, in one half mile, turn right on Valley View Lane North, then take the second I always left. got to go to Waco. I mean, yeah, it pays a little more to go to Waco and come back up, but I'd much rather just drop here with a load, grab a load, and go. But, oh well, it is what it is. Turn right at the traffic light, then take the second left. Let's get out of 
out of here. Oh, he's stopping. Yeah, better stop. Oh, the truck wanted to roll backwards with me. It's supposed to have the brake assist. It ain't supposed to roll backwards. But it just rolled backwards. Uh, yeah, that was a pucker moment. I sure didn't want it to roll back into that pick em up truck behind me. Jeez. Okay. Now we gotta make this left turn right up here. Turn left on Market Street. And then we'll be here. Yeah. After that box truck, we should be good. Yep, we're good. We're good. All right. Don't want to turn my hazards on. Pull up in here. I run my hazards when I'm on the yard. Dallas Yard on the right. Well, these old yard jockeys, they run around through here like they in a race. And I don't want them to run into me. All right. Now we got a truck up here at the gate, so I'll get back with y'all when we get in here. Shouldn't take too long. Well, that took a lot longer than I wanted. Jesus, they had the arm down in my lane and she checked in four trucks before she raised my arm up to let me in. Like, are you serious? But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's drop this wagon. There's me an empty right there. Here's me another empty right here. I'm going to park right next to this empty. Anyway, I ain't got to move that far. All right, here we go backing in. I'm somewhat lined up with the hole. You see? They ain't all this going on. You ain't got to do all this back and forth, back and forth. You get it lined up where you want it and just let it be. It'll go where you want it to go. And very little moves does a lot. in the hole. Look at the sky this morning. Ain't that beautiful? The way that looks. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. All right, folks. Here we are. Off to Waco. Let's go. Truck it up. Woo -hoo. And look, that sky's already changed since five minutes ago it's still purdy but it ain't as purdy as it was Ugh. so let's get on down the road you know Got about an hour and 45 minutes down here to Waco as long as there ain't no hiccup ups. But yeah, it is 7.20 a.m. Central Time. So yeah, we know it's gonna be traffic here in Dallas. So needless to say, this two hour trip is probably gonna be close to three, three and a half probably. But we shall see. Yep, 7.20 a.m. 
Central Time, so 8.20 my time. Let's see what time we get down there. Well, folks, I made it a whopping three miles. Yep, about three miles before I had to hit the brake. So, yeah, this is going to be one of those days. Going to be on the brake more than I'm on the throttle. Oh, well, that's part of it. It wouldn't be trucking if you wasn't sitting in traffic. <laughs> At least part of your day. Uh, anyways. Yeah. There's a sign up here that says no trucks in the left lane. Sorry. I'm in this lane. I'm already in it. No, I'm stuck. And I'm going to stay in it. Maybe I should be over in the right lane. I, I'm assuming that's probably the lane that's blocked up here because that's the only lane that's really moving pretty good. But there ain't no way in hell I'd be able to get over to the right lane out in all this traffic right now. I'd have to get real aggressive with it. And I'm not in the mood to be aggressive and get, get called in on this morning. Lord, I can't wait to get home and get that visor, buddy, because it would come in handy right now. Good God, that sun is brutal. Yeah, folks, it's been almost an hour now, and I've been a whopping three miles since my last... Yeah, not even three miles, I don't think. I don't know. This, this is not normal. Here we go, folks. We get the move right here is the problem. They have three lanes blocked off. So all that for this. I figured there was an accident. Yeah, and they there was two cars involved. I knew that wasn't normal traffic for here. I mean yeah, traffic's pretty thick sometimes, but not that bad. Hey folks, as you can see, I made it out of the traffic. That was only about an hour and 20 minute hold up. And yeah, and all of it come from that accident. But now we rolling again. And got, I don't know, about a hundred miles to go to get to Waco. Yeah, right at a hundred miles, 90 miles. Let's truck it up. Yeah. Oh, boy. You see that Peterbilt? Yes, sir. Oh, it's a nice day out today. 58 degrees. Sun shining. Yeah, there's a few clouds in the sky, but that's all right. I don't mind the clouds that block that sun. But anywho, got about 80 miles to go to get down here to Waco. So yeah. call back so I'll get back with y'all here shortly yeah I just passed the TMC truck it was a 579 ultra loft and uh it wasn't even black it was like a, a, a mint green I thought all TMC trucks were black and they was the 379s or, or 579s Hey folks, yeah, I gotta stop here and send the paperwork into the office. He's sending me messages and want me to transfer the paperwork. 
Take the exit on the left. And that trans flow is never works on my phone. It don't work right for some reason, so I always gotta go to a truck stop to do it. So yeah. Here I am. Pulling into the truck stop. And this this didn't used to be a pilot. It is now a pilot. And uh yeah, they got a hotel, a Golden Palace. Turn left on they got a hotel on top. There's the a bagel ride. shop inside. They got all kind of stuff up in here. But it is now a pilot, too. Yeah, of course. 15 minutes in there. Fighting with a computer. Computer's going to take over everything, but yet it don't work. But they want to make everything computerized. That computer got a mind of its own. It don't work. It works when it wants to, I guess. Oh. Now I got to go across the street to the Loves. And it's a pain in the ass sometimes to get in and out of there. That's why I didn't go there to begin with. But I guess I got to go now. Oh well, that's my luck coming into play again. Oh well, anyhow. The life of a truck driver. Oh, I've done my good deed for today. There's a woman in there fixing to pay for a shower. Well, I wasn't fixing to let that Turn happen. I got Don't extra showers on my right. card. You know, I got unlimited showers, basically. So, yeah. I just give away a shower. Turn That's my good deed for today. That's funny. That woman just said, you see where I'm parked at, right? The woman watch me get out of the truck and walk inside and she gonna get on the microphone the loudspeaker instead of telling me in person she's looking right at me and yelling at me CLG that is not a parking spot you need to move your truck while she's looking right at me she just watched me get out the truck and go in there to use the transflow machine I was in there a matter of 45 seconds if that Really? Come on. Look at that truck there. Yes, sir. That's a good looking old Pete there, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You have seen this big old long oversized pull in the truck stop. The back end was turning. And normally, you, you got a pilot car that steers the back. But he didn't have no pilot cars. Well, they might they might have been out front getting gas or whatever, but somebody was steering the back side of that thing, and yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, we are now 35 miles from Waco. Well, not from Waco, from where I got to pick up at. We are 35 miles away. Oh, yeah. See here, this is a rest area that does it right. Hey, I'm sorry, I hit the button. Wasn't trying to, but I was trying to say, yeah, like right there. This rest area here, they do it right. They got enough parking in there. Probably. 75 trucks or more could park in the rest area on both sides of the highway. So yeah, that's the way it, you know they need they all need to be that way. You got so many rest areas you can barely park five trucks, ten trucks. You know, people parking in the driveways of the rest area. You can't hardly get in the rest area because they're parked in the drive. I mean, there's already 
not enough parking throughout the truck stop, especially since they started this old EOD crap. There's already not enough parking in the truck stops. And then you got the rest areas are pretty much full. So yeah, the more parking, the better. I'm getting closer, 10 miles from my exit, 10 miles, folks. Oh, look at this flat top. Look at the flat top. Yes, sir. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look, there's a whole fleet of them. There's like four in a row. Jeez. It must have been Massey trucks. Them all look like Troy Massey trucks. Yeah, somebody's having a bad day. Welcome to Waco. Waco, yeah, buddy. I was coming through here one morning, I was going north. And, uh, right here. What made me think about it is a bridge right here. Uh, uh, the service road bridge. But there was this high speed chase. And they were shooting back and forth. And uh, the guy went off that bridge. He got down to the bottom of the exit. And he couldn't make the right turn. He went over the, the median and shit there and, and spun out. And then turned out and went back the other way. And uh, yeah, it was a crazy morning. That was about four or five years ago now. Uh-huh. You come by me, I'm here gunfire. I mean I was I was on the big road, they was on the surface road, but still. It make you nervous. The bullets flying everywhere. Yeah, look at this vehicle right here in front of me. That's a Porsche. A Porsche! Really? I guess Porsche sees I'm in the the SUV market, people, all these people needed SUVs, you know, they like their sports cars, but they wanted SUVs too, so, yeah, they built an SUV. <laughs> Lord, well, I wonder if the engine's in the, in the back of the SUV, probably not. Pretty sure they ain't got a Volkswagen air-cooled engine in SUV. Oh snap, I'm talking about a fortune shit. And here I'm coming up on my ex and ain't even paying attention. Yeah, I'll be passed up my damn ex before you know it. No, I won't. Well, see, it's been many a day sitting right there in that parking lot right there, that flying J. Not anymore. I would rather go to the pilot, but I guess, I don't know. Maybe if I was to come over here, my truck wouldn't have got hit. No, they got a good chance here as they was there. I don't know. our exit folks right up here get over right here then exit off here then I got to make a meteor right when I get off as soon as I get off I got to be slowed down enough and got to be able to get all the way over. Not just one lane, I got to cross all the lanes because I got to make immediate right right here at Tractor Supply. All right. In one half mile, take the exit. Here we are. To the left, two 
I-35 South. Oh, boy. Alright, I'll get back with y'all when we get to the yard over here. Alright, folks, we have made it to the gate here. Going to put myself on yard move so I can do my dropping hook. And, uh, yeah. Let's get checked in. Alright, folks. We made it in to another yard. Woohoo! Get in here and drop this thing. Hopefully, the trailer's not jacked up a mile in the air. I'll be good. All right, folks, I'm wrapping this thing up here and starting to get a little long. I want to, still trying to keep them in that 30 to 40 minute range. I give up on the 20 minute range. I, I just, I can't make that happen. But anyhow, got a couple more subscribers last night. Thanks for subscribing. And again, thanks for watching TT. B.E.